Okay, so I've returned to the Nicholas Eureka mine, which is right down there. We're gonna head down there in a minute. There's an incline shaft that I initially explored uh, seven years ago with Jeremy and Tony and uh, a talc mine, and it was pretty, uh, pretty dangerous in there. A lot of collapse everywhere, so I'll be curious to see what's changed in seven years. And in that building there, the hoist house at the top of the shaft, there was an old vintage from the 1940s, like a record player radio. Uh, but I've heard that has since been removed or taken. So, but here's looking around at the site, a uh, little portal down there. I think that's dynamite storage. And up there's another ore bin. I was up there a couple months ago. That's the Franklin mine. And uh, check that video out if you haven't seen it. There'll be a slide out card in the upper right hand corner of the screen right about now with a link to that video. And, uh, but let's keep making our way down here. Um, so I believe this was a place for dynamite storage. I, I don't remember coming in here seven years ago, though, for some reason. And there's a door down there, which I don't remember. So, but yeah, I think this was just dynamite storage. Although it looks like there's ore cart tracks outside this uh, entrance. So, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I know this isn't in my video from 2014, this particular tunnel, so I don't know why I didn't film it. But we're making our way in here. It's kind of low clearance here. There's an old, uh, an old can. <sighs> RPM D I L O, whatever that is. Must have been an oil can. They, they opened it on top there with two holes. But that's probably pretty old. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's get in here and see what this. Here's another can. Not in good condition though. I do not remember this for some reason. And you know what? I think I'm feeling some airflow coming from that door, from behind that door. Well, let's see if this door opens and what's, what's back here. A lot of uh, rodent droppings. I bet it's a giant pack rat's nest. I've been seeing a lot of these in mines recently. Uh, let's, oh, let's open this up. Well, there's a bat down there. This is not dynamite storage. Why don't I remember this? And why didn't I film it? Huh, this is interesting. Well, that's why I was feeling a little bit of airflow coming through that door. Um, it's a mine tunnel. Yeah, I've got some bats in here. Well, I think down here there's a major collapse. Um, here to the left, it looks like a dead end. Let's go check that out real quick. Yeah, I don't think that went anywhere. It might be backfilled. Check that out right there. There's like a cut there. It's a smooth surface. And I, well, if I did go somewhere, you can't get through there anymore. It's backfilled. I'm not going to dig that out. A lot of big timbers down here. Well, let's make a left turn here and see what's down here. Yeah, when we were here in 2014, we went down the incline shaft that I'm going to go to next. And like I said, there was a lot of collapse down there. I think there were three levels and they were seriously compromised. And uh, this looks like maybe the same thing happened up here. Um, yeah, it 
folks. Uh, I don't know where that bat went. He must be further up in here. Now we got some pretty heavy timbering here. And, uh, oh, there's the bat. Well, I think that's a dead end there. And something may have gone that way, but it's it's been backfilled or collapsed. But yeah, that's it for this one. Let's go check out the incline shaft. That goes down 300 feet, so see, we'll see what's changed changed in there. So last time we were here in 2014, the hoist house you see here in front of me had a really old record player radio uh, device in it. But someone told me that uh, a few years ago they were up at this mine and that record player radio has been either stolen or removed. Um, it was in here. Well, it's still here. Right there. I don't know what that person was saying, that it was, it had been removed. That's it right there. I'm pretty sure that's it. I remember there was a, you pull out these drawers and there was a, uh, there was a record player in here. Yeah, there's the radio. And then the record player I think was over here. Yeah, check that out. Still here. So, once again you see the peg boards here. Those boards with holes in them, they'd use pegs to keep track of the ore the loads of ore coming out of the incline shaft. And here's the hoist. And uh, they had a refrigerator here. Probably one of those gas refrigerators that were common at these abandoned mines that are super remote like this one is. Then there's some shelving here. A bunch of shelves. And then uh, kind of a work area with a couple chairs and some shelving up here. There's an old piece of chain. And nuts and bolts, nails, pieces of hose, all probably parts used in the mine. And uh, got an Atlas, Atlas Chemical Industries box. Not sure what this would have been. More nuts and bolts. Oh, here's some of that uh, white powder. Don't know if that's cyanide or what, or arsenic, I don't know. I know they use those things to process the ore, but... Or it could be cocaine, or it could just be regular flour. Who knows? But I'm not going to go near it. So here's looking out onto the... Uh, there was a door here. The door is in pretty, uh, in pretty bad repair. But here's looking out onto the... Uh, Four bin head frame. You can still see the sheath wheel up there uh, on top of the head frame. Let me zoom into it. That would pull the carts up the incline shaft and they would get dumped into the ore bin that's right below that sheave wheel. And you can see right there. But it must have been something being up here working, working this hoist and, uh, you know. You have the old time radio there, record player to keep you occupied, and a refrigerator. And I don't know where they slept, if they slept in here. They probably did. And anyway, that's that's looking out the window. Plastic is still in place. This is some kind of it looks like a horn. And there's some electrical wire that goes out on top of that and then it looks like it might come in right here and it goes across the ceiling and outside so that might have been a signal horn from down in the mine um, that's kind of rare 
really have never seen one of those before at one of these abandoned mine sites. But what has me confused is I don't know where the, the cable would have gone because here's the here's the winch. Usually in these hoist houses there's a, a hole in the somewhere like right up in there that the cable would feed through, but I don't see that unless it went through this window. But uh, yeah, it's kind of puzzling. So yeah, that's uh, that's the hoist house. Yeah, those, those wires come out, those electrical wires, and I go down over there, and there might have been a generator or something back there. You know, there's pipes back here too. So I don't think there was a. See, there's a pipe here coming out of these. There's a pipe going in there. You know, there might have been a tunnel here. There's a pipe over there as well going in. Um, we didn't check this out seven years ago this thoroughly. Back then I was still kind of new to exploring mines and wasn't probably as thorough as I am now, but... Yeah, I, I don't feel any airflow, but um, there might have been a, a tunnel here. But they made it into a quarry is what they've done. That's what they did later on, I guess. That's looking up into the quarry. So 14 years ago when we were here, there was a light bulb in that lamp on the ore bin. And guess what? It's still there. Check that out. So the hoist house is up there. I'm underneath the uh, trestle that goes out to the ore bin, and here is the inclined shaft. Mm, that's a little bit more than a 45 degree angle, but uh, we went down this seven years ago, so uh, it's probably worth checking out again. For some reason, they put a piece of cloth there over the opening. I don't know what that would be for, maybe to keep out debris or something, but and you can see that big pipe there coming down there. It's probably, I'm assuming that was probably ventilation tubing. Maybe. Yeah, it continues down there in the shaft. You can see it. So that was probably ventilation tubing. And then you got some pipes here on this side going down the manway, the ladder. And uh, I'm assuming those would be for air and water for the drills. But yeah, it just goes down into darkness. Look at that. So on the left here, this is where the cart would have gone up and down the incline shaft. I think these rails are wooden. I can't see them from this angle, but the carts would have been hauled up to the top of the ore bin that's behind me here on the head frame and dumped out. And that's how that operated. And then over here, of course, on the uh, right is, is the manway, the ladders that the miners would have used to go up and down the incline shaft. Okay, that's looking down the shaft. Um, it's a lot steeper than what I remember. I thought it was 45 degrees, but this is darn near almost vertical. I'm surprised we went down this back in 2014. Um, a lot of air blowing up out of here. But you know what, I'm just uh, having second thoughts because it's pretty steep and uh, I'm really surprised we went down this seven years ago due to how steep it is. I guess, I guess we knew other people had gone down as well before us. That's why we did it, but I'm here by myself and uh, it looks like the ladder bottoms out down there and gets... Uh, a little more gradual, not as steep, but this first part is pretty uh, steep. Um, if it was 45 degree angle, I would definitely go down. That's that's pretty easy, but something this steep, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's two levels down there. Each about, one's about 100 feet down or so, and the other one's another 100, 200 feet below that. And uh, they were really collapsed levels. We explored a lot of it. 
there'll be a slide out card again appearing in the right hand corner of the screen with a link to the original video uh, if you want to check it out um, it was a pretty cool mine but I'm just having second thoughts about going down here yeah I've decided I'm not going to go down there um, check out that video it, it is a cool mine lots of cool stuff down there but uh, check out this barrel um, on top here it says S-O-C-O -O Cal Richmond California and somebody wrote here or they etched in here 19 o something I think I'm reading that right so probably 19, 1907 1906 Sounds about right for when this mine was initially in operation. But this ore bin is still standing. It's got some bulging where it, the rocks are pushing out the boards, like right there, but it seems to be anchored pretty well. It's got a lot of cables, support cables, going off at different directions, anchored into the rock, like, over, like you can see over there. So I don't think it's going to collapse anytime soon. But... Uh, now we've got to start the long trek back up over the mountain.